After three years undercover, Joe Pistone, a.k.a. Donnie Brasco, is rising in the ranks of the Bonanno crime family. His credibility allows him to vouch for other undercover agents who make inroads into organized crime around the country. Pistone hits the jackpot when he gets Florida mobsters to sanction an FBI-fronted club. The FBI has the back office of the King's Court fully installed with microphones and cameras. The King's Court was wired for audio and video, but it was only in the office, not the club, because the patrons were regular people who didn't know it was an FBI operation. Pistone and other undercover agents begin to stage drug deals with local and visiting mobsters. What do you want you to have, Tom? It's a mountain of intelligence for the FBI. And for the Bonanos, it is a major money-making operation. Mob Captain Sonny Black couldn't be happier. Every time you went to the club, it was packed. I mean, <laughs> it was a big hit among the locals, you know, and everybody that went in there was a, was a citizen, you know. So the club was making money. We're doing illegal gambling, or casino nights, and illegal b bingo games, which was big down there because of the elderly population. Uh, you can make a lot of money running bingo because they were taking the, the big cut for themselves. Pistone impresses Sonny Black so much, he is asked to head up the operation in Florida. And in his new role, he no longer reports to Lefty Ruggiero. Instead, he answers directly to Black. Pistone now has access to one of the most important captains in the New York Mafia. It's a major achievement for the investigation. During trips back to New York, Pistone even stays at Sonny's house. They spend hours on the roof feeding Sonny's prized racing pigeons. I got to know Sonny Black pretty good and uh... Although he, you know, although he was a stone cold killer and a gangster, uh, Sonny was the kind of guy you could spend time with. I mean, you know, he would talk about the gambling, the drugs. He would talk about, you know, who's the power in a family. All that. But you could also have other conversations with him. He loved those pigeons. You know, like I said, we go up every morning and he'd feed them and change their water and give me a give me a history lessons on pigeons. I mean, I never listened to it, but <laughs> I had told the FBI guys, when those pigeon coops come down, you can say goodbye to Sonny Black. You know he's gone. <laughs> 